Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to Shazy Fine Jewelry's YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a trout pendant. Let's get started. So guys, first I went ahead, melted down the silver, rolled it out into a nice semi-flat sheet. I left a bit of a, a wave in it there to um, see how the pendants turn out. And after you do that, I glue on my templates for my pendants. And now we're going to cut those out. See how they turn out. If you're wondering about the thickness, the thickness of the sheet is 1.47 millimeters. And the sterling silver I made myself. So let's get started. One thing you got to remember when you're cutting out metal is constantly lubricate the blade. If not, you'll break lots of blades <laughs> and that's no fun. Okay, so we got our first one cut out. We're going to do the trout first. Got them separated now. Now we'll go around, do all the detail work on them. Actually, before that, we're going to drill out all of the holes that we need to make. Drill out those holes. We're going to use a little tiny drill bit. Again, lubricate the drill bit. Okay, got our holes drilled. Now, while we have a little bit more silver to hold on to, we are going to do those interior holes first. So, the way you do that with a jewelry saw, disconnect your saw. Slide it into your hole. Tighten it up.
So here's the first interior hole cut. And that's what happens when you break one of your blades. People ask a lot why handmade is so expensive. This is why. It takes a lot more time, a lot more effort than to simply 3D print these, which is also something I could do. Just 3D print them knock them out in big batches they're all identical there's no mistakes but the way I look at it is who wants the same thing as everybody else at least with handmade there's always a little difference it's never the same Each individual hole, I've got to remove the blade and put it back in. It's the same as if you were doing a work with a scroll saw. Now, some experts out there might think that I'm doing this all wrong, and that's okay. I'm completely self-taught when it comes to jewelry. 
had an interest in silver and gold and one day just decided to get into it. It actually all started with a coin ring. One that I seen on YouTube actually. And after I seen the video, I decided I wanted to make one for myself. And I realized that I actually really enjoy making all different types of jewelry. Not just the coin rings anymore. Actually, I haven't made a coin ring in quite a while. Maybe I'll do a video of that too. Leave a comment down below if you're interested in seeing me do a coin ring. I have a few Canadian 50 cent pieces that I could use, or even quarters. All sterling silver. So I gotta slow down here now. I forgot something when I was making it, making the template. And that's a place for the eyelet. So I'm gonna take a sharpie and I'm going to draw in. little place for an eyelet. Oh, and there's another broken blade. So there you go. There's the rough outline of our rainbow trout or brook trout or whatever trout you want it to be. So now I'll sand it, touch it up. Actually, let's pull off the paper and get a better look at what we got. So there's what she looks like with the um,
paper off. And again, still needs sanding. A little bit of touching up. And there you go. It's the beginnings of a little trout pendant. Stay tuned. All right. Let's get this sanded down. So there we go, all sanded down, ready for polishing now. Much better. Oh, we still need to get a jump ring on there that'll fit our leather necklace. We'll see if we can get one for there. Alright guys, there you go. The finished product. The trout, the trout pendant. It's going to be on a... Uh, a leather necklace. Turned out really nice. Hey guys, thanks for watching.